So welcome back friends. I am sure all of you enjoyed understanding, playing, exploring and getting excited about the way you were able to conquer playing on the violin till Ma and back to Sa. So let us get into this right away. There you go. Repeat. Sa. So we have played Sarigama Pasa Pa in two octaves. Shall we try the third octave as well? Again. Here comes the tricky part. How are you going to do this? So, Ga, till now you are playing Ga with ring finger in the fifth position. We were doing and when we were playing Ma with the pinky, correct? We were playing pinky for Ma and ring finger for Ga. But now what we are going to do is, we are going to see how to play Ga with middle finger. So, Ri and Ga, we play with the same finger. It's a jump from Ri to Ga. Ri is the first step. You jump to the, like jumping from one floor to another floor. Ri, Ga. Have to train your finger. Remember that. Ri is also same finger, Ga also same finger. Then, so ring finger becomes Ma. Sa, Ri, Ga, Ma. So, next octave, how do you play? Pinky becomes Pa. So, Sa, middle finger Ri, again. Middle finger ga, ring finger ma, pinky panchamam, pa. So that jump is important. Pa, sa, pa. Precision is important. Pa. So from the beginning. After that. Sa. Again. So when you are playing Pa, look at the thumb. The thumb should facilitate the stretch into Pa. Don't hold it like this, then it will be difficult. The thumb goes down a bit so that Pa is easily accessible for your fingers. From the top, Sa Pa Ma Ga Ri Sa Pa Sa Sa Ni Da Pa Sa Pa Ma Ga Ri Sa Pa Sa Sa Ni Da Pa after this, Padani Sarika. Pa, 
I'll play the full melody once more. in playing this you should try all the variations like one note one bow two notes one bow four note one bow eight note one bow then you should be able to play this 